Hello, and welcome back to Scrum Mechanic. In this video, I will be showing how to make U-joints. I had made a video already back when I did the final part of the trophy truck build, but YouTube decided to say that it was the exact same video as the trophy truck build, so it wouldn't let me upload. So now I'm remaking it. In this video, I will show how to make vanilla U-joints and U-joints with mods. <clears throat> so, let's get started. Okay. This will be our starting point. I'm going to switch bearings so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So this is the output of whatever you have that's spinning. So engine, whatever. <laughs> and then you need it to bend. So, one way you could do it is like so. Make this C, put a bearing, this uh, four-way, or cross as I'm going to call it for this video, and then make another C, just like the other one. <clears throat> you only need two bearings, but if you want it to be stronger, you can use four. And then I am going to use a large pipe for this end so I can show it working easier. Once I find it. Large pipe, where'd you go? There it is. Okay. Like so. Oops, not what I wanted to do. There we go. And I need the controller and a switch. There we go. Put this back in the middle. Oops. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh yeah. So, as you can see, it's just kind of hanging there because I forgot to do something. So, for this demonstration, I'm going to put a pivot right under the U-joint. That should be it. <clears throat> yep. And then I'm going to bring it out and up. I also forgot a motor. There we go. Uh, goes there. <clears throat> which I just got rid of the pipe, which I needed. Oh, I'm tired. Let's go home from work. So, okay, there we go. So, I will bring this up and around the pipe to hold it, and this way I can turn it so you can see this working. And then I will put that there, this, and this, or two. Here we go goes to that, and that will go to that. So if I take it off of the lift, turn it on, you can see it's spinning. Spinning just as it should. And then I'll add some angle to it, and it just keeps spinning. <clears throat> and that's what a U-joint does allows you to just bend a pole, basically. <laughs> but if you go too far, the output won't be smooth. Let's see if I can get it to do it. There you go. If you look here, you can see it change speeds. As this side goes like that, like as when the when one end I'm trying to get my words right, it's not working. <clears throat> when one end of the U joint goes down, so right now talking about the U joint, it speeds up, and then when it's flat, it slows down. 
which is the issue U joints have. To fix that, you use a CV joint or a constant velocity joint. But I haven't seen any decent sized CV joints in this game yet. I've seen them made, it's just they were really big. Now, onto a modded U joint. Or a U joint using mod parts. So, what you'll need is the uh, mod pack. And then the cross pipe. The small cross pipe. Um. Doo -doo -doo, you will need the surface panel small and the small pipe connector. Now, once again, take your output, but this time it's a little bit finicky because what I recommend doing is building the U joint off of what you're trying to put it on. So what you want to do is take your lift, put the cross on it, and then two uh, bearings. Once that is done, oops, take your pipe connector, put one facing this way, and then the other one facing the opposite way. Now, you see that if I try and connect it, well first of all, don't connect it to the uh, end. You want to connect it to the inside here. But you can see, if I do that, the bearings glow. Which means it will connect to the bearings and it will not work. In a recent update, they made it so that when bearings are on a lift, they become sticky. So what you have to do is take it off of the lift and then put it on. And it will work. And then you just put the, uh, the pipe connectors on the other edge. Like so. And then you save that. I'm going to pull out the ones that I've already saved. Like so. And also you can change it up a little bit if you don't have space and do it like this. And it will save some space. But then, you take your U-joint, you weld it on, and you're done. It's much smaller. I believe the angle it can turn to is a tiny bit smaller. But it still works. As I will now show. So, take it off the lift, get it spinning, and then rotate. And there you go. Yeah, the other U joint, the vanilla one would go to 45 degrees, this one only goes to 30. But yeah. <clears throat> That is how you make vanilla and modded U-joints. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.